What's up Vault Clan, my name is Gamer, Vault Fat or Jack, whatever you want to call me, and today I'm doing a commentary about next gen consoles. And before I get into this video, I would just like to say that the gameplay in the background you're watching is on the map Raid on Black Ops 2, it's using the Scar L 181-2 to solo gameplay, it's an awesome awesome gameplay by Voltage XBL. check his channel out, link in the description below. Anyway, we're going to get into this commentary right here. Now, I'm going to be talking today about the next gen consoles. Now, personally for me, I don't think they're worth it at all, in fact, I think they're probably the biggest waste of money ever. I mean, I do Call of Duty commentaries on my channel, right? And people time after time tell me or ask me, what console are you on, DFG? You know, what console are you playing on? Because nobody actually knows what console I'm playing on due to the fact that people just don't, they can't tell. I mean, I've I've done a commentary like this before and it got some banter, okay? It got people raging in the comments below saying, oh my god, yeah, you can't tell, but I just love watching a YouTube video. But generally, if you play, I don't know, maybe a few centimeters away from your TV like I do, you won't notice a difference. I play on my stepbrother's PS4. I also play on my Xbox 360. I play Ghost on both quite regularly and I personally can't tell the difference. If anything, to me, the PS4 version of Call of Duty Ghost does look very, very pale. It looks very lifeless. And to be honest, my Xbox 360 version looks absolutely absolutely awesome. Now this is a Black Ops 2 on the Xbox 360, okay? Now this looks beautiful, this game is absolutely beautiful because they uh, they did some really really good things with the colour on this game and it looks awesome. Now Ghost on every console looks a bit pale, okay? I will, you guys can probably agree with me in the comments below, it does look pale. But if you look at Ghost on the PS4 compared to Ghost on the 360, you can definitely tell the difference and that the fact the PS4 version is very, in my opinion, lifeless. And to be honest, I don't like the PS4. I don't know what it is. The console is nice, the UI is nice, you know, dashboard and all that good jazz. But to be honest, I prefer the Xbox 360, generally because of the PS4, it's just the, the games. The, the games are good, okay? Hear me out, right? The games are good. But to be honest, the color of on the games are very lifeless. Now, if you don't know what I'm on about, hop on your PS4 right now and play some Ghost, right? Play it on a normal 50 by 50 by 50 by 50 uh, brightness, contrast, color, if that makes sense. Now, do that and don't add any adjustments to your picture at all. Now play that, right? Then hop onto your Xbox 360 if you have one, then play it on there. You'll definitely notice a difference, and that is that the PlayStation 4 version of Ghosts is absolutely horrible. Now, to be honest, this is what makes me less confident about buying the next gen console and makes me think it'd be a waste of money. And that is the fact that you just look at the consoles and, I mean, the PS4 has had its problems with, um, for example, the disc tray, the overheating and things like that. And the, the Xbox One's kind of had the same problem. And the Xbox One is less powerful than the PS4. And if the PS4 version of Ghost looks kind of muggy, kind of a bit dull, lifeless, then what does that say about the Xbox One version? Now, I have also played on the Xbox One version, so I'm not just chatting rubbish. I am actually making sense, I hope so, but to be honest, I don't personally think that the next gen consoles are personally worth it because they're just so, they're not worth the money, I mean you're paying four, 300 to 400 pounds for a console that generally does the same thing as your current one, I mean the only games I can tell that look different slightly are games like Kill, well I don't know if Killzone's actually on current gen, but I believe that Killzone's on next gen and that looks awesome. Destiny looks quite good. Battlefield f uh, Battlefield Hardline, sorry, looks quite good. And FIFA 14, FIFA 15 even, or FIFA 14. They both look very stunning on the, the next gen consoles. Now games like that, that are prioritised for next gen consoles, look awesome. Now, hear me out. Obviously, you you know that Ghost was prioritised for next-gen consoles and was ported down by Infinity Ward by just simply taking out things that didn't fit, and that's basically how it worked, because they couldn't obviously fit everything from next-gen consoles to current-gen consoles. They still managed to fit the new audio engine in, so when you, sh when you shot inside of a building, you could hear the differences from when you shot outside of a building, or in, I don't know, in the mixture of the grass, you could hear the flurries of the grass being hit and things like that, so it was actually a really really nice feature that they put into current gen consoles from next gen consoles and also they did the destructible environments now when i say destructible environments i don't mean battlefield standards i mean in terms of the just blowing up a certain object and it falling over like blowing over a chicken box and it falling over because generally it was pants there's no need there was it wasn't it wasn't really worth it they're trying to get onto battlefield level and completely miserably failed and really i don't personally like black 
Ghost, sorry. I, I, I think most of us can agree this is why you've got some Black Ops 2 gameplay in the background because Ghost is simply not that great. I mean, obviously, we've seen Ghost gameplay on the Vault Clan channel before, and I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that, you know, you need some hefty colour correction for a Ghost gameplay compared to Black Ops 2. I obviously will put get Ghost, I will obviously put colour correction on here because obviously, you know, you just need to for a commentary, otherwise, it just looks like you're looking into a pale piece of poo and it looks horrible with a gun on it and people getting killed, but nonetheless, generally, I'm kind of going off a bit topic here, but I think Ghost was a bit of a flop on all consoles and especially on the PS4, I think it wasn't really that great because, I don't know, it just, for me, didn't, it didn't give any, it didn't have any life to it. The game wasn't very good, the, the dedicated servers weren't very good. To be honest, I got less lag on current gen consoles than I did on next gen consoles. I played in the same house on the same consoles, so, yeah, basically, so I played on the 360 around my house. I played on the PS4 around my house, I also played on the PS4 around my stepbrother's house, and generally, there was lag on the PS4 compared to Xbox One and 360, and it was just, it wasn't very good, you know, this is another reason why I don't like next-gen consoles. Also, the hefty patches that have been brought out for next-gen games and consoles over the past few months have actually been quite staggering, and it's kind of killed what I believe is the core game experience, because it just... I don't know, it, it doesn't, the games weren't really ready, the, con the people weren't, Sony and Microsoft weren't really ready to put the games out, I don't think anybody was really ready for next gen consoles, everyone kind of thought it was all in the future and kind of didn't really prioritise the next gen consoles very well, I mean obviously they worked on them, they made them first, they, they you know, obviously I, they did prioritise them, but I don't think they did a very good job on what they've created, because Call of Duty as we all know is the same thing every year, yeah? And I think that jumping up to next gen consoles with a yearly life cycle on a Call of Duty game, I don't think that was the best idea because they're not ready to do a yearly game on four, five, six consoles um, and port them down. So that's why obviously now that now Activision have decided to do a three year development cycle between Sledgehammer Games, Infinity Ward and Treyarch. So hopefully, hopefully, either this year or next year will definitely be a major improvement to the next gen consoles and to the Call of Duty franchise in general because the co the problems with next gen consoles really really hit Call of Duty hard in terms of the innovation because there was no innovation in Ghost at all yeah it all looks nice at, at E3 last year when we had all the nice you know sliding effects all the nice new shooting new sounds new this new that new game engine and you know I put that in massive quotations there because there was no new game engine they were just enhancing the Quake engine massively now, this was a bit of a disappointment as well, because I personally thought that it was a massive, massive flop. This new game engine, the new audio engine actually did really well, so top marks to them, 10 out of 10 for effort, to be honest, because the new audio engine, for me, you know, I think you guys could agree, did a quite, did they, they did a quite a good job, I'm not gonna lie, okay? I thought they did a really good, a really, really good job, but personally, I don't think that the actual game engine itself actually changed anything. Yes, I like the sliding, but we originally had the new feature where you would dolphin dive, and that was quite cool. We all enjoyed that, and that is what, you know, back then that was when they were innovating, but now they're not innovating at all, and to be honest, if they can't continue like that, it's just going to be a flop. That's it from me today, Volcan. If you did enjoy, please remember to smash that like button, that would be awesome. Also, check out the player's channel in the description below. His name is Voltage XBL. Also, if you would like to, be sure to check out my channel in the description below. I do a mixture of things from commentaries to my Minecraft videos to Call of Duty videos. Anyway, enough about me. Check out me if you like me, and also check out the player's channel in the description below. That'd be awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like if you did enjoy this video, and subscribe if you're new, and peace.